My name is Ilya Morif and this is an introduction to the LB form library. In this video I would like to discuss briefly a necessary theory of the chemical source term evaluation and reacting flow simulations and four main features of the DLB form, namely the load balancer, the reference mapper, fast Jacobian evaluation routines provided by open source PyJack library, and fast linear algebra routines implemented in Labak library. This is a well-known set of equations typically solved in reacting flow simulations. Omega dot terms highlighted with red color are species mass and energy source terms arising from chemical reactions. Due to large difference between chemistry and flow time scales, an operator splitting technique is usually applied and the solution of the chemistry problem is separated from the flow solution. This means that at every time step these source terms are evaluated independently from the flow and then they are applied to the equ equations as a constant term. Thus, in every cell of a discretized domain, we have an independent problem with its state described by a thermochemical state vector phi, comprising mass fractions of species and temperature. What we want to find here is the thermochemical state vector for a cell after a time step delta t. And how do we do it? First, we linearize the problem implicitly as shown here. Term f represents the derivative of phi versus time and it can be evaluated using chemical kinetic mechanism of your choice using Arrhenius relation. It basically shows how reactions are changing the state given some initial mixture represented by phi. In open form these equations are then solved for example using the Soilex algorithm. We won't dive into details of the implementation here but what we want to keep in mind is that it uses the Newton's iterative method as internal step. The idea, in short, is shown here with some of the derivations omitted. So, first thing we need to do if, is to move all the terms here to the left-hand side and arrive at the, this form of the equation, which we can then denote as some letter G. And this will be our mean to calculate a residual of our solution, which should tend to zero. Then we need a way to update our guess of the solution, and we can do it using this linearization using the Jacobian of F term, which can be also obtained from a chemical kinetics mechanism. And here comes the first feature of DLB foam. We replaced the open foam routines for Jacobian and derivative evaluation ones from open source PyJack library. It improved both the evaluation time and more importantly the convergence rate of the iterative procedure, since PyJack provides the exact algebraic Jacobian. The next problem here is how do we solve this equation? Do we need to calculate the inverse of the Jacobian matrix? Actually, we don't, and costly inversion of the procedure in Soilex is replaced with LU decomposition of the matrix. And then we use the back substitution technique to obtain the solution. If we re rearrange this equation, we can arrive to this form, which is basically a matrix equation, where A is the vector we need to find. Next, we can split this Jacobian into lower and upper part using the LU decomposition. Then, we apply the back substitution technique to solve this equation for this term into these brackets. And we get the vector B, which we can then use to apply the back substitution technique again to calculate, to get the vector A. And this will be basically A, our new solution candidate, which we put into our residual equation and check if we need to continue iterations. And here comes the second feature of the DLB form. We replaced the open form routines for LU decomposition and back substitution with, with ones from LAPAC library. Contrary to the open form ones, they are more suitable for dense Jacobian matrices, which is the case for chemical kinetics Jacobian. And uh, a small disclaimer here, this is a very simplified description of the problem and its solution and I omitted a lot of derivations and details of actual implementation here. But the information given on the slide should be sufficient to understand what did we improve in DLB form compared to open form. Here is how you can configure these features. First of course you need to include the DLB form library in control dict. The first line adds load balancer and reference mapper support. The second adds the PyJack and LAPAC support. And the last one is the chemical kinetics mechanism library compiled using PyJack. 
And then in chemistry properties, you can enable both of these features as shown on this slide. Next, let's get back to the reacting flow problem we are solving. Consider a 2D diffusion flame setup with a fuel strip in the middle and hot air on the sides. A fuel strip is moving right with some velocity and air is moving left, creating a shear stress in between. As simulation proceeds, the instability develops and the flame gets ignited as shown on this temperature figure. As we discussed previously, each cell in this domain has its own chemistry problem at every time step. So in a multiprocessor simulations, we split the computational domain into a number of subdomains and assign each one to a processor. In open form, each processor solves all the chemistry problems located in his domain. Here is where the imbalance problem comes from. On this picture, you can see the time spent on a solution of a chemistry problem for each cell of the domain. And it can be clearly seen that for cell in the intense reactivity zone, this time is significantly higher. This is attributed to a so-called stiffness of an OD problem, which arises from fast reactions with low characteristic time scales. Thus, for a processor which has, let's call it, more reactive cells assigned, more time is needed to finish its job, which creates a bottleneck and makes other processors wait for it to finish. The load balancer in DLB form mitigates this issue by redistributing chemistry problem between processors dynamically. Its performance can be seen on the animation. Here you can see the CPU time spent on the chemistry by a processor plotted versus the number of iterations, which is in fact versus time. This processor, this number of processors, there are some of them, spends significantly more time on the solution, forces other processors, shown here below, to wait for them to finish. Here you can see the same figure after application of TLB form, so the total time spent on the chemistry solution is reduced by an order of magnitude. The load balancer can be controlled in chemistry properties dictionary. First, you need to set a proper chemistry type. It's either this or this. You set this one if you want to use load balancer in reference mapper only, without LAPAC and PyJack. And this is if you want to use LAPAC and PyJack. Then there is a switch which enables the balancer under the load balancing dictionary. Finally, the last feature is the reference mapper. In diffusion flame simulations usually have large part of the domain filled with almost non-reacting ambient oxidizer, which starts reacting only after it mixed to some extent with fuel. Normally open foam will go through all these cells and solve the same chemistry problem for all of them separately. But using reference mapper one can set a mixture fraction criteria to choose ambient oxidizer cells and solve chemistry problem only once and apply the solution to all of them. This, by the way, will worsen the load imbalance problem discussed on the previous slide, which makes balancer even more relevant. This feature can be controlled in constant chemistry properties dictionary as shown here. First, fuel and oxidizer composition needs to be set in order to enable the calculation of the mixture fraction. This also requires a molar weights of species which are provided by inclusion of the thermo thermochemical properties dictionary. Then, the criteria for the choice of the mapped cells is set using tolerance keyword here. Solver will map cells which have the mixture fraction smaller than the tolerance. And then there is an optional additional temperature criteria which will limit mapping only to cells which has temperature difference smaller than delta T. You can find additional information on the topic on the readme of the repository and in original papers. Also, please check the paper describing PyJack library and the user manual of the LAPAC library. Thank you.